Hi, today I'm going to give you my top five products from The Ordinary and my two products from The Ordinary to avoid list. And today's video is brought to you by... Hi guys, this is Sarah from No BS Beauty and I just want to remind you that I purchase all the products I review with my own money and I'm now proud to offer these airless jars. And any support of purchase of the airless jars go to help keep the No BS Beauty channel independent. And if you're interested, there's more information in the video description box below. Thank you so much, guys. So I thought uh, I was going through some of my ordinary products, and I thought I would give you guys kind of a list. A lot of people ask uh, what I think of the ordinary, and the ordinary is a decent line. You just have to cherry pick what you like and kind of avoid a few of their products. So I'm going to let you guys know which ones are my faves. So first of all, my favorite from the ordinary is got to be their uh, buffet. And they've got their original buffet, which is a little more affordable, or their buffet plus peptides. Either one is great. If you have a little bit more money, I think the buffet with peptides is, uh, I think, about three times or maybe two times the price of the original. Uh, but you might as well get some extra peptides in there. And I love the uh, blue color. But uh, this is just a great overall serum that's uh, got a lot of good beneficial ingredients for your skin and is also uh, fragrance free. So this is definitely a good product to check out if you can uh, while well, it's in stock. So either the buffet or the buffet with peptides. Uh, my second favorite product from The Ordinary would probably be their uh, vitamin C powder. Uh, their vitamin C products are scattered. Some are great. Some are definite misses. Uh, their powder is great because you can mix it in with other products. Uh, just be careful what you mix it in with because some uh, acids don't work well with vitamin C. Uh, but this is a nice one and uh, it's very affordable. Uh, it's less than $10 and you get a significant amount of powder with it. I never take these things off, but you get a lot of powder with it. So uh, that'll last you quite a while. Uh, so this has to be probably my second favorite product from The Ordinary. Uh, my third one would be um, their bee oil, which uh, is a newer product from them, but I really like it because it's kind of a compilation of a lot of different oils. Uh, there really aren't any great or best oil for your skin. As long as it, it's not a fragrant oil, um, they're usually pretty beneficial for your skin. Uh, have a lot of good hydration and uh, skin soothing properties. But this one's a good product because it's got a lot of different oils in there. So it's kind of a mix. But uh, this one also, the other one had a little bit of a blue tint. This one has a little bit of a green tint to it. So... Um, this is a good one to check out as well, and it absorbs rather quickly for an oil, in my opinion. So that's another good one to check out. Uh, my fourth favorite product from The Ordinary would probably be their uh, Azelaic Acid Suspension, which is 10% Azelaic Acid, uh, and uh, they kind of brought Azelaic Acid back to the uh, mainstream skincare ingredients. A lot of people weren't talking about it um, kind of until The Ordinary came out with this, but it's a nice, uh, thicker, kind of a gel-textured cream, and uh, it absorbs in your skin very nicely and will certainly help with brightening your skin um, and helping with hyperpigmentation or melasma a little bit. So, um, And also uh, very affordable like most products from The Ordinary. And then uh, my fifth favorite product is definitely their niacinamide and zinc solution. Zinc doesn't have a ton of uh, research behind it. The Ordinary uh, has a theory that it helps control um, oil production. There's really not a ton of uh, research on it that I could find, but niacinamide uh, certainly is a known beneficial ingredient helping brighten your skin, clear, clear your skin up, um, and leave a nice uh, layer of fresh skin for you. So uh, this is also a great product to check out, especially if you have um, any acne-prone skin or are looking for any uh, clarifying products. But um, also a good one to check out, in my opinion. So these are my favorite five from The Ordinary. I'd have to say if I had to pick five uh, to take with me, I'd probably pick these five. And then in terms of my experiences, the two I would recommend avoiding, um, one of them is their mag uh, magnesium and vitamin C solution, uh, magnesium and asorbyl phosphate 10%. This one, for me, in my opinion, is just it uh, leaves a little bit of a... Uh, kind of a scratchy, unrefined texture to it. Uh, some of their vitamin C products are very hit and miss, and uh, some of them some of them have a little bit of a grainy feeling. This one feels this way to me. Um, however, I've tried certain installments of it, and some batches are better than others, and some aren't. Uh, but this is one I would probably recommend avoiding, uh, just because of that graininess, although it just depends on the batch. 
And then my other one, um, I actually tend to like this product, but I, from my reading reviews, more people have had issues with it, it seems, than a not. And it's their caffeine solution. It's a 5% caffeine solution, and it can be very drying and irritating to your skin, which is probably why it helps to uh, help with kind of bags under your eyes. Uh, it's just very strong, and a lot of people have kind of overdone it and ended up with very dry, irritated, cracked skin. Um, so that's why I recommend uh, avoiding it unless you're prepared to really start out very slow with it because uh, caffeine de definitely has some good antioxidant properties, but it also can be a little too drying for your skin. So uh, if you if used properly and in moderation and very slow, there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, it just seems like some people have had a lot of issues with it, especially in their sensitive eye area. So that's why I just recommend avoiding it altogether. Um, so anyway, those are kind of my thoughts on it. So I'm interested if you guys have a top five from the ordinary or um, what your uh, number one don't buy is or one of your di dislikes from the ordinary. So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come out with at least one new review every day and check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys.